I'm sorry, Lizzie. Can we just go home? Sure. How about we get some ice cream first? Okay, I just got a three sheets to the wind apology from your mother that I will be making a CD of and putting in everybody's stocking come Christmas. What did you not off? You want a dream? Hmm. But it was okay. I'll get that. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, Kev. Uh, we need to talk. Yeah, I know. I agree that I will, under no circumstance, advise Elizabeth Walker as to her true parentage. You you really want me to sign this? What? Julia's been asking how this is going to go. This was always the plan. Plan? Tommy, there was never a plan. You and I jumped into this with blinders on. For there to have been a plan, we would have to have talked about it first, which we've never done. Yeah, well, what's to discuss? I'm just trying to do what's best for Elizabeth. Yeah, but this is as if I, I, I don't exist. But what did you expect? You want to be your father? No, that's not what I'm saying. Come on. Well, I'm that's not going to happen. Have to be like this, Kevin, Tommy. I'm her father. Whatever dreams or feelings you're having, deal with them. That's it. Wow, these robes are like wearing heaven. Hmm. Who do you think they'd charge if we stole one? We already did last time we were here. How do you think I found you? I was wondering about that. Yeah. Oh, was that when that kid peed in the planter by the pool? Oh, my God. Sammy the Sprinkler, you complained to his dad, and somehow you became the bad guy. I was the bad guy. He was just being a kid. Come on. If it was mine, I'd do exactly the same. Do you think we'll ever have kids of our own? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I'd, I'd love kids someday. It's weird. I grew up thinking I'd never be a dad. Well, it's not that weird. I mean, you're gay. No, 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 it's not that. It's just I wasn't sure if I'd be any good at it, you know, putting somebody else's needs first all the time. It's these dreams. And the last one, she was crying, and... I knew she really needed me, and that I had to be there. But the weird thing is, it didn't feel like a burden anymore. It just felt amazing. It's like that famous line, in dreams begin with responsibility. Yeah. Whenever we decide, I'm ready. I think you would make an incredible father. This on you. There you go. Honey. You have a visitor. Look, it's Uncle Cal. Oh, wow, don't let Uncle Scotty see you in that princess nightgown. He'll want that for himself. I'm gonna go make this with the bottle. Okay. But I'm just gonna put on her diaper a little oh. bit better. Lie down, honey. You wanna end with that? No, no, I, I got it. Good, because I have no idea what to do. Look, uh, with everything going on right now the one thing i am sure of is that you're her father so i'll defer to you you'll always be a part of her life good as long as i can be the crazy uncle who buys her tons of presents and gives her a place to crash when mom and dad fight <laughs> right, look i'm gonna go help mommy you stay with uncle kevin okay you recently whoa what's with all this drooling you gotta quit that by the time you get into boys or girls one never knows you have to go kitty's having a baby Saul. this is major great and i'm happy for her i also happen to be annoyed and just insulted why would you be insulted well, first of all, I find this whole Evite thing profoundly annoying. Whatever happened to proper triple-embossed paper with a nice response card and that sweet little tissue over it? So you would have gone if they sent you a proper paper invitation? No. No, I don't understand why the three of us would be more interested in going to a shower than Tommy or Justin or even Robert, who is the child's father. Because we're gay, so we're supposed to like these kinds of things. Oh, come on, Kevin, that's reductive. I didn't come out of the closet to become a cliché. Really, and I, I wouldn't go to a gay pride parade either and wear those leather things that they wear. Chaps, 
This is a baby shower song. You know, maybe, Kevin, it's a generational thing. Well, what's the point of being gay if you're going to act like this? There's no one way to be gay. Well, he's managed to pick the most dull, joyless version I've ever seen. What would your plus one say about this? My what? Your boyfriend. Well, I'm sure he'd feel exactly the same way. He doesn't even know he's invited, does he? Oh, that's what this is all about. You're afraid to let him meet us, aren't you? Well, can you blame me for not wanting to throw him to the lion? We don't even know his name. Henry. Oh. Henry. His name is Henry. Scotty, the lamb was delicious. Oh, where are you going? I am not going to stand here and be interrogated by The View. Well, I'm asking about your boyfriend. It's called showing an interest. Why don't you please just let me do it my way? But that's not who you are, Saul. You haven't missed a family event your whole life. Have a nice day. Uh, tell Henry we said hello. <laughs> Kitty, I made this video for you and Uncle Robert to celebrate your baby. I hope you like it. Oh, Paige, thank you. Ready? Yeah. You're so clever. Dear cousin, welcome to the story of the Walker family. Paige, how did you do this? First, there was Grandpa. <laughs> this is and great. And Grandma and Belle got married. Together, they planted the Walker family. Uh, hi. Sorry I'm late. We're watching Paige's video. Uh, you know what, Paige? Let's, let's go from the beginning. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Everybody, this is Henry. Henry, this is everybody. Henry! Hey, hey. Hey. Hi. 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 Come, well, come on in. I need someone to record all the presents. I'll do that. Well, you can't do that. You don't even know who anybody is. What's better way to learn? Oh. He's trying too hard, isn't he? No, relax. He's mm -hmm. doing fine. Really? Okay. Yeah. Henry, it's so nice to meet you at last. You too, Kevin. Solly's told me so much about you. Solly? Okay. How did you two meet? At the symphony. Right. <laughs> Whose gift is this? We both just finished reading the same book. Right, Whose I was holding the book. It was open, so he saw it. It was a brilliant book. What's that? Why don't listen? Whose gift is this? Come on, people, listen up. Oh, that's my gift. Mom. Is? Wait, right now? Yes, now. Uh, what happened to that gift bag you brought home the other night? There was a candle in it, I think. Yeah, I threw it out. You threw it out? It was sandalwood. Kevin! What? You hate sandalwood. Can you talk to Robert? Robert? What's wrong? Get the hand on I haven't seen you in years. Oh, thing, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Look, my phone's died. I think I killed it, you know, trying to make so many calls. Can I borrow yours? I need to call the office. They need to fax over a bunch of confidentiality agreements. Hey, can you at least tell me what happened first? Yeah, Robert had a heart attack. You know, one minute he was fine, the next he collapsed, and, and we called him an ambulance. That's it? What do you want me to say? Um, you know, that I thought he was going to die? That I thought I was going to have to stand there and watch him die and, you know, not be able to help. Yeah, but you did help him. You got him here. You know, in the ambulance when they were working on him, the EMT kept saying to me, your friend, your, your friend is going to be okay. I didn't even like him when he became my brother. Oh. And now that he is my friend, and God knows how that happened. I can't bear the thought of losing. But the EMT said he's gonna be fine. Yeah, that was before I said, stop. <laughs> I mean, what if that happens again? He'll take care of him. <laughs> you know, your friend has a new son. <sighs> and you have a new nephew. Have you seen him? Mm -hmm. And 
I think you better meet him before you do anything else. I don't feel presentable right now. It's okay, he won't mind. He's all blotchy, too. I'm very pleased to announce that as of 4.34 yesterday, Senator McAllister and his wife, my sister, Kitty Walker McAllister, became the proud parents of a very healthy, beautiful baby boy, Evan Walker McAllister. Now, there have been some rumors about the senator's health, and I would like to clarify. Upon arrival at the hospital, the senator was treated for a heart irregularity. He underwent some routine tests. Now, as soon as these results become available, we will release them. However, in the meantime, he's looking forward to spending a few days with his brand new baby boy, and getting back onto the campaign trail, eventually serving the great state of California as its governor. Thank you. All right, let me guess. Mm, preemptively intoxicating yourself before the worst time of dinner in Walker family history? I thought hiding in the corner might help, too. Mm. So, thank you for the strong-armed phone call. Please, I'm merely the messenger. That was all Nora's work. Has Tommy even told her, or is he just going to wait until she notices the prison postmark on his first letter? Well, I suspect he's having a bit of denial, if that's what you're asking. Well, this is going to be fun. We're Harold and Maud. Thank you. Maud's in the kitchen. Harold's upstairs. All right, don't, uh, don't worry about it. We haven't even uh, started eating yet. All right, sweet. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm sorry. I have a problem with the way he's been acting tonight. Aren't we all acting on account of Ryan? Isn't that the mandate? Tommy was arrested for felony embezzlement. You think it'll... Humility might be in order. Stop taking it so personally. Besides, the evening's almost over. Thank God. What are you doing right now? Just, uh... Cleaning up. The place looks pretty clean to me. What did you have in mind? I don't know, you know two of us a free morning mm. it's probably a delivery let's just ignore that okay. wow they really need a signature are we ever gonna have sex again i don't know i'm busy my work your family Maybe we need to schedule it. What, like sex at 4 o'clock? That's really romantic. Employment sex, that's what married couples have to do. Yeah, well, not this one. Haven't you heard of calling first? I can not call. Your brothers have co-opted all my phone lines. They're mine now? Listen, Kevin, I want to be a good big sister. I really do, but you got to get them off my couch. Their, their crap is all over my house, and they're eating all my food. Hey, Scotty. Hi, Sarah. Interrupt us. There. It's in the books. Wow. You putting sex in the books now? No. You sure are. Uh, yeah, thanks to you. you. Convinced me to buy this dress. What? What are you talking about? You look so hot in really? that dress. You deserve to meet someone. God, I hope you're right, Kevin. You know, I really think it's time. I just, you know what I miss? I what? just miss that first touch. It's been so long since I've. Been... Oh my God! Don't, don't, don't look! Don't look! Don't just stop. Be on my head? No, just walk with me really slow, real slow. Look at this. Look into this. Look at this. Look into this window. Don't argue with me. Don't look over your shoulder. Chad's across the street. Chad who? Chad. Oh, Chad. My God, he is so ridiculously chiseled. Stop looking. You might see. What? He doesn't know who I am. What? What are you afraid of? Why don't you just go say hi? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Oh, he really is spectacular. He's bi, right? Yeah. Maybe you should introduce me. What? I'm 40. I can't be that choosy. Why did you guys break up, anyway? Why? He was an emotional mess, okay? Deeply, deeply closeted. He had a girlfriend who was happy to be his beard. Practically denied my existence when we were dating. <gasps> what? Sorry, he oh. just butted us. He's coming uh, over. He's coming over. Don't leave my side. for how I acted when we dated. So, Kev, how are you? Me, I'm... I'm married. I'm married. 